Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to make the color change and overlay. Cause some people have been asking me how to do it on Twitter and stuff. So I'm going to make a tutorial, and it's gonna be quick and simple. And I hope you guys enjoy. It. So the first thing you wanna do is go to New Composition and Background Color. You can set that to black. You really don't need to set it to green. I just had it for something. And you can copy all these settings on my screen and change the composition name if you want to. And make sure the duration is at 10 seconds. After you do that, you should have transparent background. And do this right here. You click on this button right here, and it's actually called the uh, um, transparency grid. So you just want to turn that on. Now you want to go to file and then go to import and then go to file again. And after you do that, you can just go pick the overlay that you have. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and just get it. All right, now that you brought your overlay in, it should be on the left side of your screen, and you can just drag it down, just like so. And once you drag it down, the first thing you want to do is actually click on it. You want to go to effects and presets should be on the right side of your screen and you want to type in hue and then you will see hue and saturation now you're going to actually drag this over and put it onto um the little thing right there the um, actual thing so you got a layer so now that you do this you will have a keyframe right here and what you want to do is click on i mean channel range once you click on channel range you want to make sure you're clicking on break overlay and you want to hit u once you hit U, you want to go to 30 seconds, and then you just want to change the color over to the right, and then you go to um, there, well not 30 seconds, but you go to that right there, so you go 30 more, and then you can change it like that, and basically it's that simple to do it. So it's not hard to do, but I'm just trying to do it really quick to show you guys how to do it. So yeah, and you just do that all the way till you get to the end. And it does not have to be that good. So yeah. You just keep doing this. Then you bring it back to that color that you started with. And then just go around again. So yeah. And like I said, you just do this till you get to the end. I'll be back with you guys when I get done with it. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm almost done. And what I do is I end the color with the color I started with. So when you loop it in OBS or whatever you use, it will look better when it actually ends. So I'm going to just go to end it with the color red. So now you just go all the way back to the start. And you can hit the space bar to see how the overlay is looking. And it should be looking really good. Okay, you see, just running real smooth and good. And yeah and then when it loops it just looks pretty normal so now that you have everything done you can save this do whatever you want to but to, to export it you just go to file export you can do in the encoder queue or you can do add the render queue and both of them are pretty simple but I'm gonna just show the media encoder because this is what I use when it wouldn't let me do it the other time so I'm gonna just open this up and show you guys what to do Alright, now that you're in Meteor Encoder, it probably looks pretty weird, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. So, you just want to click on this right here, and if you want to render this in MP4, um, make sure you click this right here. It's going to be H264, and that's what MP4 is. But for this right here, I did it in MOV, which is going to be QuickTime, because it actually, if you do it in MP4, it won't go as a, um, yeah, it won't come out as a transparent, so... Um, after I do that, I just do GoPro and then Sim for whatever this is. It was the second one, and basically it's that simple. And after you do that, you can just hit OK. You don't really have to change this other stuff. After you hit OK, um, it's simple. You just click on it basically and hit the little place button over here. And once you play it, that means just render it. And when it get done rendering, you can just bring it into OBS like so and when you bring it in here obviously like i've been doing you just hit the plus symbol you actually go to media source okay loop browse and when you do that you can just go get the file i put mine in the downloads let me show you guys real quick and it's that simple and it should just look like this this video help you guys out drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and yeah Peace out.